So we've got this really cool mountainous area. I was looking obviously at all this first episode and I was a little overwhelmed actually. This feels like kind of secluded. It's a very kind of mythical looking area. It's very flat. It's got these mountains around it. Obviously those mountains are bigger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, this is, this is kind of bad. This is kind of bad, actually. I don't know where my house is. Um, I think it's this way. Nothing to scoff at. All right, let's go ahead and make a trail of torches. Because I think we can at this point. What is up everybody, Dr. Bacon of the Dragon Peas here, back with some more Minecraft through the ages. Now, you might be wondering where the heck I am and what's going on, given that last episode ended on a to-be-continued halfway through recording, and the answer is uh, multi-part, so first of all, I want to make sure I'm not, not going to die as soon as I step outside. Um, so, first things first, basically the reason that I cut last episode where I did... Uh, in the middle of me walking to my new house location is because it ended up being like 28, 29 minutes long and there wasn't enough super boring stuff for me to easily cut down. But at the same time, uh, so, so basically my plan was cut it where I did and then make the next episode, episode four, which is this one, start with those like extra nine minutes and then be a new episode. Uh, but then three months happened, um, and also I rewatched the last nine minutes, and it was nine of the most boring minutes of commentary I've ever made. So just to recap a little bit of what happened, um, I made the torch trail all the way to my new house location, and I decided I didn't like the wooden foundation, so I built a stone foundation. Uh, I built wooden walls up, decided I was going to make log corners, uh, made some stairs, uh, which look a little derpy, but that's okay. Uh, stairs are a little glitchy at this stage of the game. Okay, this is getting too much. You can die. I'm sorry, they're just too loud. That was a sound. Um, stairs are just too derpy at this stage of the game. Um, and I made a sunroof with the little glass I had left and realized I should have made windows because this house looks hideous without them. It's basically just a big wooden box. And that's where we left off. So, yeah, you didn't miss much. It was a pretty boring uh, 10 or so minutes. So I figured, given that it's been three months and having a video that's uh, that starts at one point and ends three months later probably wouldn't be the most coherent thing, I figured we would just start from here and go from there. So now that I have the basics built, so that's a, a shelter I can survive in, I want to do two things today. Uh, first of all, I want to move my stuff over, and then, obviously that's pretty hideous right now, so we're going to have to shape it up a bit, make it look a bit nicer. Um, but, like I mentioned last episode, uh, we've had three episodes, basically, uh, from episode one up through episode three, that were just about house building. Episode one was getting started and making our house, episode two was making it nicer, making the spawn chest, episode three was finding a new location... So I figured making episode four more house building wouldn't be the best thing. So I thought once I get my stuff moved over that today we would actually go ahead and do some cave exploring. Um, excuse me a moment, I gotta turn my volume down. I looked back through, uh, through the past uh, episodes and there are a couple things we've walked by that seemed uh, pretty interesting. So I'm thinking we will go explore some of that. Uh, may not go anywhere, but hey, it's probably a bit more fun than watching me build some more. I'm, I'm sure some of you like watching me build, but uh, it's not its not the most engaging thing in the world. So we're actually going to... I think we're going to leave this all here for now. Ugh, I love this music, but it's just way too loud and volume sliders do not exist at this point in time. Um, I think we're going to leave this all here. I can make a new furnace, I can make a new workbench, I can make a new chest. And uh, this is this is still my first home. So I'm going to respect it for, for what it is. So we're going to go ahead and head on back. Put all this stuff down and then we're going to go do some cave exploring. 
Now, uh, to kind of remind us all uh, what version of Minecraft we're in, cave exploring looks a bit different at this point in time. Uh, for one thing, torches are a must. Uh, they always are for me personally, but I know some people will just turn their brightness up to bright or shoot their gamma up and, and whatnot. Uh, that's not going to work here for two reasons. One, um, I have food, but if I get shot, that food goes away. And I can't just, like, hide in the corner and regen, you know, almost a full health bar by eating a single piece of uncooked pork to get me back up to full. It doesn't work that way. Um, and I can't sprint, and I don't have a shield, so things are a bit more dangerous. So we're going to have to be pretty careful. Um, we're going to have to be very, very uh, delicate about how we do things. So I'm going to go ahead and make a furnace. We don't need it right now, but I'm just going to make it anyways. And then we'll make a chest. This is going to be the first time that I feel like I'm really at risk of dying. Because uh, like I said, cave exploring is a perilous thing. And I'm going to do everything I can to be careful, but there's only so much I can do. So we're going to leave a bunch of stuff behind. Uh, we have our spawn chest, so if I do die... Uh, obviously, one of the disadvantages of living here, as opposed to my old house, is it's quite a bit further from the spawn. But the spawn chest is there, so if I do die, I should be okay, even if it's the middle of the night. Um, we're going to get a little bit more wood, and then I think we'll be good to go. I'm actually going to make another pickaxe. And that would be good. So the, the cave I was thinking of exploring is actually one that we walked by during episode one, and I think it's just this way. It's It was basically just this big pit in the ground. Um, and it may actually even be right over there. Because uh, I, I wandered pretty far in the first episode. Uh, although it looks like we've actually got quite a few caves just right around here. So we may not need to go that far. Um, again, sorry if you can hear me touching my mic. My, um, my microphone is also where my headphones are plugged into. So if I want to adjust the volume, I also, I need to be touching my mic. So I'm not sure if you can hear that, but okay. So this, that looks interesting, but it's not what I'm looking for. I think it's over here. I think, no, I could swear it was around here somewhere. Cause around here is where I got my first coal. I think maybe further that way. Um, is it over here? It looked pretty promising. I remember seeing some iron in there. So I figured it would be a good place. I also want to do something with this. Let me know in the comments what I should do with this. Because it's, it's pretty cool. It's kind of somewhere between a desert and like an oasis. And also a bit of a gravel farm. But it's very flat. So if I want to build anything cool here, I definitely can. And remember, this is through the ages. So just because what you think I should do here isn't possible right now doesn't mean it won't be possible soon. Um, I know it's episode four and we haven't moved forward in time yet, but it will be soon. Okay, so there's actually quite a few caves here. Ooh. You know what? I think I like this better than the one I was heading to. I'm gonna get a little bit more wood. By the way, uh, if anyone's wondering, if you yourselves want to hop back in time uh, in Minecraft, uh, yeah, with the launcher, and you're wondering what what's happening when I do that, shift clicking doesn't craft everything at this point in time, but if you double click, like it, uh, not double click, if you click with left and right mouse buttons, it'll do two. So that's how I craft uh, decently fast. So like if I if I have two things to craft and I do do left and right at the same time, it just does it all at once. All right, so I think I like this better than where I was gonna go. But it looks pretty dangerous too. So we're gonna block this off, just so it doesn't push me into a creeper or something. Because that'd be my luck. Doesn't look like this goes anywhere. It looks like this just heads straight back up. Yeah. All right, that's fine. All right, so we're looking for iron. Obviously, iron's the big thing right now. Uh, diamonds would be nice, but I really don't think we're gonna get that far down. Um, cave gen is quite a different beast at this point. Um, so it's a bit less predictable, as you can see from this utter failure. 
Um, redstone would be nice. Uh, I really would like some redstone. I kind of want to show some of the evolution of redstone, and I, I do enjoy that. And okay, this cave is a complete fail, uh, but there is some iron. Uh, are you for real? Really? Just just two pieces of iron. <sighs> okay, I take back everything I said about this cave being better. Um, we are going to get a bit more coal, just because. Better safe than sorry, and how long have I been recording? Okay. Sorry, I just I want to keep a better eye on it because the reason this episode setup was so awkward was because I ended up recording for just the wrong amount of time. Um, and it's it's easier to edit around Lonely Survival than it is this series. So it's it's a bit it's a bit awkward. Um so okay. Now let's try and find the cave I was actually looking for. And whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. Was it over here? It might have been over here, actually. Uh, yeah, I think that's it over there. So many animals. I'm not complaining, but... Yeah, okay, so this is what I was talking about. It looked promising because it had a bunch of iron in it. Um, it may also dead end into nothingness, but... We're gonna give it a shot. And not, there's not much failure here. Like, at least... At least we get some iron. You know, I'm not looking to delve into a cave and get diamonds in one episode. It'd be nice, but that's not, you know. We've already got ten pieces of iron, which is nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, Eleven. Alright, so where does this lead? Am I on peaceful? No, I'm on hard still. The mob spawning in this series has been really weird. Like... Sometimes it's just super quiet, and then other times I'm surrounded by things. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's, like, spawning mechanics being different or what, but it just feels very, very odd. Right. And... Oh, does this go anywhere? And... Maybe... No. Okay, I'm trying to avoid digging down. I don't want to strip mine, I don't want to do any of that, but these caves so far have been pretty disappointing, and it's getting dark, which is not ideal. Uh, please go somewhere, please, please, mm, looks like it might. Uh, oh, okay, we'll keep, God damn it. All right, there were a few other openings I saw, but getting to them at night might be a bit of a challenge. And with my luck, this will be the episode that monsters finally start spawning the expected amounts. Um, okay, so there's my house. So I'm just a short walk away if I run into an emergency. So let's go this way. I don't think I've explored much this way. I may have wandered around here when I was looking, when I was kind of surveying the land, but... Uh, ooh, what's this? Did I check this out already? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. I'm on hard. And there's, there's like a creeper here and there. That's really odd. Maybe hard is, like, easy <laughs> or something. Like, the difficulty's got swapped or something like that. Oh, there's a spider. All right. This looks promising. Man! This is just an episode of Disappointing Caves. That's all this is. Maybe it would have been better if I just stuck around and built some more. What's over here? Sorry if this isn't the most entertaining episode. I just, I was really hoping to, you know, go down into the depths. Oh? Oh, you know what? Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon. Or maybe I didn't. 
What is this? Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, this is more my speed. Okay. We got some iron. That's always good. Whatever else happens in this episode, at least we got a lot of iron. So I can't really complain with the outcome, even if the journey wasn't particularly entertaining. All right, we got some iron. Is this gravel floating? I think it might be. No? Okay, that's good. All right, we've got some lava. That makes me nervous. Ooh, quite a bit of lava. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go on normal. Just in case maybe hard is glitched or something. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. Because there's just, just nothing spawning. On one hand, I'm not complaining, but on the other hand, it, it it's just kind of... It's a little boring, actually. Whoa! Okay. Right. Cave noises are different than the, than the modern ones. That scared the crap out of me. All right. Oh. Okay, what's up here? Anything? Oh, yeah, a little bit. All right, this, this cave looks like it's gonna it's gonna keep going, so I am satisfied. The cavern deities have uh, have pleased us. I'm just, I'm just waiting. It's so quiet. I'm just waiting for like fifteen creepers to just corner me and just blow me to the moon. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag. Game? Okay. I think we're okay. This cave is really odd. It's, it's just very oddly shaped, even compared to the other ones I was finding. Whoa, what is with this lag? Hold on. I'm still recording. Everything's working okay. Okay. I know I'm trying to move away from like two parter episodes, but it's getting to be about that time. But I also know that uh, that I don't want to leave here right now. This looks this looks promising. Maybe I'll just cut out a lot of those looking looking at dud parts. I'm not sure. I do need more coal though. I'm burning through coal fast. It's just so weird. Just like, it's very, like, labyrinthy. Oh, I hear running water. Well, we are going upwards, so that may genuinely be the surface. Okay. So, mushroom. I will take a mushroom. I will quite happily take a mushroom. Maybe I'll make a mushroom farm. Ooh, maybe that'd be what I want to do with the basement of my other house. Turn it into a mushroom farm. That won't be bad. Never dig straight up because of gravel and lava, but I'm, uh, I, I think I can dodge. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, crap. I didn't even think about that. You know what? We've got enough iron. I think I'm going to go ahead and make an iron pick. It's just so quiet. I know I keep talking about it, but it's seriously tripping me out. There is nothing alive down here. Alright, we're going to get this and we're going to go back to where that lava was. Get that lava. And then see if there's more cave down that way. I mean, I think part of it is too, just the number of sound effects is a lot fewer, like the furnace doesn't make any sound, lava doesn't make any sound, uh, you know, things are just quieter in general, 
But I, I, I'm talking about the mobs. I'm losing, oh, oh, uh, excuse me while my brain shuts down. Maybe we can get some flint for some more arrows. I don't have my feathers on me, but I would like some more arrows. Keep the creeps at bay. All right. We got our bucket. We got our iron pick. Nice. Got our furnace back. I'm breaking my workbench with my hand because axes don't chop it any faster. All right. Let's go back this way. I think this is where the lava was, right? Yeah, there it is. All right. Hello. Oh, there's more than one. That's interesting. I'm going to not have that on my hotbar. For, uh, for safety's sake. All right. Is there anything this way? Ooh, looks like. Whoa. Okay, that plunges down. That goes down a ways. All right, so I want, I obviously I, I always want diamond, but I really want some redstone. And I wouldn't mind some gold, actually. Some gold sounds fun right about now. I, I would not mind some gold. And nothing. Hooray. And I think that marks this cave as having been run dry. I think that was all the ways we could go, but this was a weird cave. I know I say that about most caves that you guys see me explore, but that's for a couple reasons. For one, the more boring ones I tend to cut out or, a, oh, oh, okay, hold on. All right, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs>